Hello everyone, my name is BetWX and today we're going to go over something real quick. We're going to go over retargeting animations. So if we look at these two characters, they have different animations on them. This one has none. This one has a walking animation. So if we drag across here, you'll see it playing. It'll be going backwards. So if we look at the other one and I try and drag over this animation, it will not allow me to attach it. That's because it's not connected to their bone structure. An easy way to retarget this is to right click the animation go to retarget animation and it'll bring up this tab. Look up your target skeleton. Mine is the C uh, is the U E F N mannequin. If I click that, I can look for the walk underscore backward. All right, so walk underscore B W D. And that should work just like that. So you'll see this auto generate retargeter. So if you do not have the ability for that to work, you can have a targeter for an IK that the character uses. This auto retargeter is more in the newer engines. If you do not have the newer engine, we'll go over that in a second. If you do have it, you just click this simply right here and then export animation. We're going to go ahead and set it to content and export. And there we go. Export. We go to here. And now we see that we've got one that connects to this character. It's as simple as that. But if you do not have that available, let's go ahead and delete this animation. So if you do not have the retargeter available, you'll need to go in and actually create something for the character. So if you browse the asset, so right next to your character, right click and then go to animation, scroll down to the bottom to retargeting, go to IK retargeter. So we're going to go into it. And we can use the source IK and the target IK. So the classic version would be to drag in an IK for the original and the IK for the new one, and then choose the animation you want to do off of that. So if I wanted to do that, I can do IK. I can type in an IK in the search. And I can drag in the UEFN IK. And then I can drag in the other IK, CR, no, that's the foot IK, character creator, IK rig. And then I can take these and slide the targeter offset just a little bit. So that way we can get them next to each other and we can look, walk backwards. All right, so you'll notice that it's walking oddly. And that is because the little chain mapping right here is neck zero is none and the rest are none so if you auto map and do exact you'll notice these two are incorrect and incompatible properly even if i do the other model chat uh the other auto maps it's still broken so the reason is that these are not correct i can easily set these to work properly by going through and setting them up manually but that will end up taking forever a much easier way to solve that is to go to your mannequin or your other one. My mannequin has the proper name set. The CC has a little weird one. So it uses thigh for its legs instead of left leg. So if I do left leg and then right here I do right leg. Same thing with the arms. Upper arm. It doesn't need to be upper arm. It's just arm right. We'll just do right arm and then we'll do the other one as left arm. You'll see that with just that simple change of how they're named, I do the auto exact and then we go back to the animation and keep it going. Walk. You'll see that they are working. So it looks like the right leg got messed up. It's because I added the underscore. It's that case sensitive. So you, with just that simple changing of that underscore, you'll see that it fixes. So you have to have the names almost completely identical. Actually, you have to have them very identical. So yeah, it's just going through and making sure all of those sets are the exact same. If you do not have an IK set up for them, go ahead and right click, go to animations, go down to retargeting, go to IK, double click into it, rename it what you need to, and find your skeleton. And then it's as simple as add chain, name it to the bone you want it to be, make sure it matches the one you want to get the animations from or send to. So spine, add chain, 
This will be spine one and then spine five. You need the lowest number and then go to the highest number. And then it's just going through and making sure to do every single one of those for all the bones. So that way you get it all set. The left index, metacarpal to metacarpal end. And metacarpal to metacarpals, foot to foot. So leg needs to go to the foot. Arm needs to go to the hand. So yeah, once you've got all that set up, it's just as simple as going to the retargeter. And if they're named the same, you can just do exact. And like I said, if they're not, you can still go through and just manually do them. It's just a bit more of a headache to do that. So yeah, I hope you all learned a lot from this video. I know that this is pretty short, but it's pretty simple these days. And uh, with Unreal's new stuff, they've made heavy strides in this field. I hope you all learned a lot from this video. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. I try to make one every two days. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video. And honestly, I really do hope you all have a good night and truly do hope you have good luck with your game development.